Hey everyone, I think I am live. Thank you all so much for being here. Sorry, we're not, uh, we didn't do our show on Tuesday. I had a doctor's appointment. Um, I was waiting for some test results and I had a busy day yesterday. So I was able to come on today after a couple of readings um, and, and do our weekly show together. How's everyone doing? Get some of these questions started. Uh, I will not be on with Mel tonight. Uh, he got back from his trip. I think he's probably a little bit tired from the trip. So we're going to get together next Thursday to do our Thursday night show with Mel. Um, next Wednesday, I have a show with Susan Lin and Fefe. Um, I think at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And then we'll have my Tuesday show, of course. So how is everyone doing? Hey, Jane, good to see you. All right. So just a couple announcements, and then I'll go ahead and get started into your political and current event questions. Take a look at some of those. Um, so I've been a bit busy, but I believe the website is all created. Um, it's called Kevin's Loving Vibrations.com, and I will edit that and put that in the um, description box of the video. But um, you can go and check that out and book readings or Reiki sessions over there. I would love everybody's feedback if you don't mind taking a look and letting me know what you think. Um, but I'm really excited that we've, uh, you know, started the channel and just all of the growth and being able to create a website rather than uh, all the back and forth with email. Um, but just really proud of that accomplishment for myself and for the channel. So. Check it out. Jason did a wonderful job. I see him in the chat. He created the website. Um, so if anybody needs any website design, check out uh, Jason. Send him a message. He did a wonderful job. All right. So you can check that out if you'd like a reading or a Reiki session. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else going on that we need to talk about. All right. I think that's it. All right, we'll go ahead and get started in some of the questions. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. And I did see, uh, I think we have a new member too. I think Tom joined the membership. Welcome. I think Daryl joined the other day, but we'll be getting together for the for the Reiki live stream for the members on what day is it? April 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Hey, Raven. Yeah, the puppies are good. All right, you guys. I haven't watched much of the news, so I'm sure a lot of stuff's been going on. <laughs> we'll kind of see what's going on with uh, with your questions. Um, let's take a look. You know, this is a little bit more of a deep dive, but I think it is actually pretty good. Um, Ness wants to know, um, how do I see the next six months going for Biden and Trump? Excuse me. Can you pull a card for each month maybe and do a side by side comparison? Sure. I'm going to do my best to try to keep up with the chat. I have some questions start in case we need them. Thank you so much, Jazzy. Thanks for the super sticker. I did get some new frames. Thank you, Raven. Hey, Terry, good to see you. Good to see everybody. <laughs> well, I'm shuffling and the tower comes out for Trump, but I'll put it back in. Let's see what, what's Trump's March going to look like. So energies around Trump for March. I'll just do a little quick. Okay. Oh, thanks, Jan. Yeah, I love that amethyst. I got it a, a month or two ago. I'm just pulling a card for each month. What's the energies around Trump for April? Ooh, tower for Trump in April. I 
I've always told you this eclipse is going to be huge for, for Trump and some of these Republicans. We might have to do a little bit more of a deep dive, right? Figure out what this tower is. All right. Trump for May. All right, Trump for June. Not looking good for Trump the next few months. Yeah, the eclipse will be huge for all of us. I'm sure all of the impasse in this group. We've been feeling a bit tired, right? All right. July. And Trump for August. What's the energy around Trump for August? All right. Let's take a look at Biden. Trump doesn't have some good cards the next few months. I'll just say that. Yeah, we're all exhausted. What's Biden's march look like? Okay. We'll take a look at Sherrod Brown. I did, I was, if I would have been on Tuesday, I would have told you I thought Bernie Marino was going to get it. And he did buy quite a bit. Biden for April. Nice to do something a little bit different. Right, so for March, Trump got the Nine of Cups, which can be wishes being fulfilled. I know he's been kind of successful with delaying things out. Um, and for Biden, he's got the he's got the um, the like, sorry, <laughs> the Hangman, which can be a bit of a delay. I'm um, feeling a bit stuck, but also maybe having to to look at things, look at the whole picture, the campaign in a different point of view. So it's a brainstorming um, phase for Biden. Going into April, Biden's got the, the hermit. So kind of going within, finding enlightenment, trying to figure out things at work. And Trump's got the tower. It could be the illumination of whatever collapse is going on for Trump in, in um, April. Whatever this tower is going into May for Trump, he's got the judgment. So uh, he's not going to be looked at very favorably. Um, I think a lot of readers have even said, too, like they don't see Trump around come some come May, come June. And he's got a negative judgment coming in with that tower. Kamala is coming up for Biden in May. So maybe taking a fiercer role and really getting out there and campaigning. Um, but focus around Kamala for May. Going into June, Trump has got 
the Ten of Swords. So he's backstabbed. He's been backstabbed, betrayed, beaten. He's been defeated. Um, June. Knight of, uh, King of Pentacles for Biden for June, which I think is coming in with a lot of that funding, a lot of uh, donations coming in. It could be Biden really goes against Trump or the downfall of Trump because the King of Pentacles is my Trump card. Um, but I, I also feel like it's security coming in for Biden, giving grounded messaging. July for um, Trump, nine of nine of wands, which is in this deck, you can see it's a pretty fierce battle coming in. Um, he's got a lot, he's got a big mountain to climb with, with some of his challenges. Biden's coming in with the two of pentacles, which can be, um, maybe there's some information about this dark foreign money coming out and this leads to the downfall because this can be my foreign money card, but also too, it's, uh, it can be a card of juggling resources, but to me, it almost feels like the money coming in for Biden is so much greater than for Trump. And then for August, I do have for Biden, he's got the devil. Now that could mean maybe his hands are tied um, because of like the Republicans. He's not able to act like he would like to be. It's kind of like he's forced into a bad hand. Trump's got the page of pentacles, which I feel like is maybe some documents or um, things being released that Trump's been holding on to. It could be him taking money too. So yeah, I, I would say the cards look a lot better for Biden in the next couple months. And I've said too, I do feel, I do feel like Trump is going down, but I also feel like Biden and Democrats doing really well and a lot of momentum for them coming in uh, this summer. So Thanks for the question, Ness. That was fun and a little bit more of a, a little bit of a deep dive in the next few months. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. Sunny Valeria wants to know, will, it, will Leticia be successful? getting Trump's properties by Monday, or will he come up with the money? I do. I don't feel like the money will be over Monday and I don't know how they, that could be delayed. Um, or like he doesn't, he doesn't have the money just yet. I've often thought that maybe Trump would get some foreign money to pay for um, what he owes, but it felt like it was like pushed out a little bit. Thank you, Ness. Letitia James be successful in getting Trump's properties? I do think she'll be successful. I just don't know about come Monday. Nope. Yes. Ace of Swords. Yes. It's being victorious. That legal fight. Yeah, but the world's coming in, and I'm wondering if there's money coming in to kind of help Trump from the world. It's a bit of a battle, though. It doesn't feel like it's by Monday. Yeah, there's money. I'm telling you. I know they've been talking about it on the news a lot, about Trump being able to get money from from Saudi or from foreign governments. And we all know that he was Putin's puppet and still is. Um, but I almost feel like he's looking out to the world for money. In this deck, it's kind of like, in, it can be like looking at the globe or the crystal ball. Um, there's delays with this though, because it's a bit of a battle, five of swords above. I do think uh, Letitia James is coming in strong, queen of wands here, ambitious. She's going to be successful, but Trump's going to cause a lot of burdens before assets are seized. I don't know how the how it all works. I'm not a legal scholar by any means, but um, it feels like there's a bit of a delay with it. But I do see Tish James getting some of Trump's properties in the long run. Oh, yeah. Cannon's going down here soon. 
I know somebody asked about when Canon would be removed. Um, I almost felt like Jack Smith going up to that 11th circuit of appeals to get her removed in the next few months and her being removed like summer, sometime this summer. But I do feel like there's some big stuff coming out with, with Canon here soon. Will Netanyahu be removed? Absolutely. Absolutely, Juanita. I almost feel like this summer, too. I know that there, there's a lot of, uh, there's starting to be calls for another election in Israel, and I do see that. I almost feel like summer, early fall, Netanyahu's out. <laughs> It's pretty pathetic, though, Trump going around and, uh, you know, begging his supporters for money so he doesn't lose Trump Tower. I don't know how those people can't see that they were scammed by Trump, that he's not this rich billionaire. He doesn't have the money to, to cover it. But I do feel like some are going to start to wake up to that fact. All right. What's going on with Netanyahu? I do feel like a ceasefire coming in, it might be a little bit of a delay, Juanita. Yeah, he's going to put up quite a bit of a battle, though. But he's going to be forced out. Ooh. His government's defeated. Wow. Netanyahu, seven of swords, or seven of wands, so there's a bit of a fight. It's a bit of a battle. He's trying really hard to defend himself, but I do see Netanyahu having to retreat, go into hiding. Um, he's not going to be able to be offensive. He's going to have to take a step back. People celebrating. And specifically, I've always felt like a woman coming into prominence. I don't know if she's the new prime minister, but I do feel like a, a strong woman energy coming in to eventually create a two-state solution in Israel. Netanyahu has got his judgment card, the tower. There's a change in the government. So I do see Netanyahu being out. Like I said, to me, it feels like it might be sometime this summer, early fall. Timing's not always the easiest to pinpoint. But I do feel like there's a ceasefire coming, maybe next month, April. Oh, I could totally see that. Linda says, I see Cannon needing bodyguards in the future due to MAGA and Sant insane blaming her for not saving the Messiah, Donnie, Donnie diapers. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, more House Republicans resign before November. Absolutely. You know what? When Ken Buck resigned, I did get a hit that a lot of the more moderate Republicans are really PO'd that Donald Trump is taking over the RNC and they can kind of tell that the they're not going to get any funding and all of the money is going to Trump. And, and I think that that might have been a motive behind Buck leaving early. But I do feel like there's more leaving. I feel like there's four leaving. Four leaving before November. Karen says Buck said that three will go soon. Yeah. I'm just going to throw a card or two, but I do feel more Repu House Republicans leaving. Absolutely. Here's four. Four leaving being dissatisfied because of the strategy of the Republicans. There's a fight coming, though. I almost feel um, as, as a lot of these Republicans are getting dissatisfied, I almost feel like Mike Johnson being ousted um, 
like within maybe even March, but like April, May, it's coming soon. Yeah, they want to head into a different direction. They want the party to head into a different direction. They can see that that it's the ending of their party, the way that the magas are taking over. Yeah, I think four more are going to leave. For entertainment purposes only. Thank you, Linda. All right. Ooh, what did Lev Parnas say? I hadn't heard that. Rose says Lev Parnas spilled the tea on Johnson, Sessions, and Lindsey Graham. Somebody wants to tell me what's going on in the um going on with that. I missed that. Yeah, McCarthy left, Buck. Um George Santos. I think there was a couple other ones. They're not going to cut Medicare and Social Security. Lev Parnas testified be before the House Oversight yesterday. I'll have to check that out and look more into it. I, I told you I haven't watched the news much the last couple days. Jazzy says, Kev, is there a possibility Biden can override the House and proceed with the border? I did feel Biden becoming stronger on the border. It almost felt like to me it was through executive action. And I don't know. I think that they've said that he doesn't have the funding to, to do that because it's up ultimately up to the House. But I do see Biden um, doing something about the border. Maybe it's not it's not a bipartisan or a bill to address the issues at the border, but I do feel Yes, he's going to do something before the election. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Robert. Appreciate that. All right. Will Moses Mike put Ukraine funding bill on the floor anytime soon? I feel it. I told you guys I felt it going through. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I almost felt like they would be able to um bring it up for a floor vote go above him and now i hear that republicans and even some democrats are talking about loaning ukraine the money and some democrats being on board because they're just like we have to get them some kind of funding but i do feel money going to ukraine biden just i think they just gave ukraine 300 million um so Biden's trying to be able to help wherever he can, but I do see Ukraine funding coming. It feels soon to me. Rose Blue says that's the Republican funding bill to cut Social Security and Medicare. Yeah, I don't see it going through though for their for their funding or, or their budget. But I think it's it's going to be a great talking point for Democrats coming up to the election, sharing the Republicans' bills, saying that they're planning on cutting Social Security and Medicare. I don't think that that's going to go very well for them. Lend lease like FDR did for Britain during. Yeah, I like I said, I feel like there's some kind of funding coming in. I almost wonder though too, if if it is like lending money or loaning money once ukraine's put into into nato like i think it's dissolved something like that is kind of what was coming through to me um but i do think that uh i i see funding coming for ukraine they've needed it for a while and it's really a shame that they didn't get it months and months ago when Biden was pretty much begging them for it. I don't know if Dems get the majority, Melissa. She says, if four leave before November, does that mean Dems get the majority? I don't know if they get the majority. I do feel like there might be another gain or two, but I feel like I feel like some of these Republicans have had enough and they kind of come across and or there's a not enough Republicans because their seat's empty. And Democrats are able to get Hakeem Jeffries and a speaker before 
and I think they could change the rules so that people can't try to throw him out as speaker. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling because I do feel Hakeem Jeffries may be speaker. I don't know if it means it's Democratic majority though, but I feel like there's a couple, I've said it before and it sounds crazy, but I feel like there's some bipartisanship coming up before the election to get some things done. Because I think a lot of the moderate Republicans have really, really just had enough. There's not a lot of them, but. Yeah, I see Mike Johnson being out, being out soon. Could even be April. All right. Phoenix says, hi, Kevin, first time commenter. Do you think Jack Smith is waiting for SCOTUS outcome regarding immunity for January 6th trial before asking Cannon to be recused from the Docs case? I feel like can uh I feel like Smith has been gathering up everything that Cannon's done that's weird or improper and really building a strong, solid case. I think it I think he will try to appeal it after the Supreme Court's ruling, but I don't know if that's why he's holding up on it. Because like I said, it almost feels like maybe in the next couple months he goes to the 11th Circuit and she's removed sometime this summer. That's kind of how I'm seeing the energy going. Um, but yeah, he's been, he's like 20 steps ahead of, of, uh, Canon. He's got everything documented. I think somebody asked if she would be relieved. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like she would be relieved. I think she'll maybe, she was probably going to be a bit upset that she's removed. Let's take a look at this one. Somebody just asked something similar too. Um, will DeSantis open the Epstein case for the public? I feel like there's a, a little bit of a roadblock, but ultimately, yes, I'm feeling yes. Ooh, justice, there's surprises, big surprises. I think it's a little burdensome to get there. Yeah, I get the secrets coming out. It's a bit of a battle to get it released. So I don't know if this is people trying to hold it up from him uh, putting it out there. But justice is coming. Justice is coming. Good news, surprises. You can even think about it, too, of, you know, I, f I feel like some of the stuff that's been going on with Florida kind of getting into like the Matt Gates and underage stuff, I feel like that stuff being kind of exposed to, it's like it's big momentum, big things coming out from it. You have the secrets, the moon, somebody coming out and telling the truth, and then action being taken. So I feel like he will do it. It might be a bit of a challenge at first, but. Um, absolutely. I was feeling a, a resounding yes when I was tapping into the question. Yeah, absolutely, Sharon. Sharon says, Cannon seems to be trying to help Trump evade a conviction and dis dismiss the case in front of the jury. That's exactly what she's trying to do. But like I said, it's like a lot of these like really out there motions that she's um, saying. I feel like that's all being documented. And because it's so unusual, the 11th Circuit's going to be like, what's really going on here? Is she in Trump's pocket? Uh, like it's, it's going to really smell. So sorry if you hear the dogs going off upstairs. School bus just came by. <laughs> All right. All right. 
creepy guys. <laughs> Rose Blue says maybe the Republican convention will be in a parking lot because they're broke. Oh, they're, they're talking about bringing Manafort to run the, the GOP National Convention. Yeah, and I heard that Trump was saying, too, that he wanted to give him a position in his campaign or or something like that. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Let's take a look at Paul Manafort. Was... I get so confused with him. Was Manafort, I remember he was the Russian asset um, and got in trouble with the Mueller stuff, but was he pardoned by Trump or did he have jail time? Because I definitely feel some jail time for Manafort. I don't feel like he's been, he's able to be brought into the Trump campaign, though. He would like to be that messenger and speaker. Yeah, he was pardoned. Yeah, he's got justice coming for his future. He's not done. And it feels like it's Russia related stuff again, too. He's got right now he's hoping for this job, Page of Pentacles. So he's hoping for some kind of money to come in, but he's crossed by despair, grief. Trump's above him, you know, and, and wants to act on it. But I feel like justice stops it. You have the emperor and the empress. So like the government coming in. Empress is often my Russia card coming in and stopping it. There's a delay and then he's stuck. He's unable to move forward. So I don't feel like he's going to be able to be the, um, the RNC or um, work at the convention. Feels like they want to try to get him in there, but he's not able to. He was in prison. That's what I thought. I see him going back to prison. I can't keep up with all the all the craziness with all these people. Oh, Lev Parnas went after Bill Barr. It's interesting that you don't really hear much from Bill Barr anymore, right? I think he's so embarrassed and like. Not that he had a good reputation before the Trump administration, but um, everything's just, he's a joke. Anything happened to Bill Barr? I'm almost feeling like they don't go after Bill Barr. I hope I'm wrong with that, but it's not, maybe he's been cooperative. So they offer him some kind of deal. He's tired, though. I almost don't feel like his health is very good. Anybody know if he drinks a lot? Because that feels like he's hitting the bottle pretty heavy for entertainment purposes only. He's got some burdens. He's defeated. I feel like he gives the goods on Trump to save himself. I feel like he makes a deal. I do feel like there might be some kind of legal action. You have the Queen of Swords here, but it's like he's got information on on the on the money with Trump or connections. He's got some burdens, and he's kind of defeated right now. Like I said, he feels like he's in a really bad place energetically. Um, but it's like he's coming out with the Knight of Pentacles, offering off information. Um, but, I mean, his career is over. It's over. He's, he's, he, because of his foolish actions. He's very tired. 
But like I said, I feel like there's illumination there. So. Yeah, you don't hear much from Giuliani anyway. He could lose his law license. Absolutely, I could see that, Sharon. But in regards to him getting jail time, I don't feel that. It feels like he cooperates. But there's like a shame around him. Giuliani's going down, Rob. <laughs> Wait till Jack Smith starts indicting the January 6th people that were around him. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Ava. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, you guys, let's take a look. Yeah, my doctor's appointment. Um, I've been feeling really tired and, and I have some arthritis in my neck, so it's been bothering me. So I'm seeing, seeing somebody to hopefully help with that. But um, I've just been feeling really tired lately. So they did some blood work. My doctor thinks I have mono, which I don't know if I feel like that's the case because my white blood cell count was high. I think it was what Epstein-Barr virus. Came back positive and with like that infection, she thinks I have mono. I don't know where I would have gotten mono from. My husband isn't sick, so. I don't feel too bad today, a little tired. But, but besides that, the appointment went good. Oh, I did, did Melania say that she didn't believe Obama was a citizen? I don't think she really believes that if she said it. I hadn't heard that she said that. I've never had non mono, but like I said, my husband is fine. I, I'm a little tired, but I don't feel like I'm exhausted where I need to lay in bed all day. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's right to me, but I, I'm not a doctor, so. All right. Let's take a look. Look at that. What do you see for Fani Willis' status going forward? Do you see a new head prosecutor in place? No, I feel I feel Fani staying in place. But I feel like this whole thing, um, it, it's just a circus over with, with the Republicans trying to get her out. And I don't feel like they're done with all of their, their tricks. But I ultimately see Fani Willis staying in the prosecutor position. And she's up for re-election. I think she's going to win a re-election, too. Yes, please do me a favor. Please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Oh. I don't know if I'll do the drawing next week or the following week, but I did hit 13,000. Let me pull up the date on the video. So anybody that wants to be entered into the free reading or Reiki giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel. But if you go into my live videos and comment on my video that I had last week, it's um, March 12th, the solo political sh show. Comment on that video starting with the words um, reading or Reiki, depending on what you'd like to be entered into for the giveaway. And uh, like I said, either next Tuesday or the following Tuesday, I'll pull my winners for, um, for a free reading or a Reiki session with me. All right, Fani.
innocent and pretty. She's got the star crossing her. Yeah, she's staying, she's staying in that position, government position ahead of her. I feel like she's going to win a re-election too. But she's really tired, feeling battle weary. I almost feel like part of her, I feel like I said, I think she'll run for re-election and I feel like she's going to win. Part of her doesn't want to though, because this whole situation's really kind of ruined it for her. She's like, is it even worth it? Do I want to be doing this? having your life threatened and not being able to stay in one place and move with security. And then, you know, your, your case gets turned into a circus. Part of her is very, very frustrated with it, but I do see her being successful and staying on. Um, and I do feel like she'll win a reelection. Yeah. Yeah, Fonny's definitely very frustrated, but she'll get through it. Dogs are going off again. <laughs> okay. Do I feel 45 will have some kind of episode in public that people just can't deny? I've often felt like with the sickness or the health issues, I we're already kind of seeing, you know, some of the dementia there. He's not making any sense when he speaks, um, but I do feel I I do feel like there's cameras watching him as he has some kind of episode. Absolutely, I almost feel like McConnell will have another episode too. I know McConnell's supposed to uh, step down from leadership at the end of the year. I almost don't feel like he'll make it to the end of end of the year. Whether that means because he's sick and has to retire or because the health problems take him out. But I feel like there's change in leadership in the Senate before the election. Yeah, but yeah, I do feel like there's some kind of public episode. I think I think his call follower, followers will make excuses. I don't think it will change their mind that he's not fit. Um, or that uh, Biden's more fit than Trump to be president, they're not going to ever see that. But um, I think for a lot of people that Democrats, independents, some moderate Republicans that don't like Trump, absolutely. I think a lot of them already kind of see it with, with the dementia going on now. All right. Probably hang out for a couple more minutes. Oh, almost 900 people watching. Thank you all so much. All right, let's see. Karen says, will Bedminster be one of the properties acquired by the state of New York? Will, will they then remove the first burial hole Yeah, I don't know if I feel that. I've never been one to feel anything in the coffin. Sorry. I know others. I'll, I'm gladly wrong if, if I'm wrong, but I've never felt that. I know a lot of other people have. Will Bedminster be one of the properties seized by the state of New York? I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Maybe by the IRS. I've often felt like from this whole New York trial, the IRS starts going after the Trump organization too. But I've always felt like Trump Tower, all of his properties are seized. All of his assets are gone. You know, there's some disappointment. I feel like he holds on to it, but there's still like 
there's he has other properties too that could be seized so i almost wonder though if he gets the money he's foolish enough to take money from the world negotiate with other other countries that's what i'm kind of feeling you guys Thank you, artist Liz. All right. Yeah, I, Imelda, I do have, you can send a super sticker through um youtube um i believe youtube takes 30 percent of of super chats or i do on my description box i have my paypal information too if you would like to send a donation honestly it doesn't matter to me <laughs> if it's easier to do it youtube or if you want to send it through paypal or if you just want to watch and have fun it's all good but i appreciate all of the um all the support i really do all right and jane wants to know about project 2025 i haven't i've read on it before and i don't remember exactly what it all entails but i don't see it happening i know it's like some doomsday um end of our democracy kind of project and i just don't feel that happening I actually feel like a lot of positive changes happening starting in 2025, 2026 feels really good. Yeah, it's basically all freedoms are gone. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Yeah, their plan's scrapped. Obviously, they want to... It's all good, you guys. We have Nine of Cups, our dreams and wishes being fulfilled. A lot of movement, I think, communications exposing the plan. We know that the Republicans are trying to get away, do something sneaky and something corrupt. But we're heading away from that Republican Party. It's a turning point. So I, I don't see it. I just don't. This is interesting. I'm by no means an expert in astrology or eclipses, but I almost feel like the eclipse brings in change of um, things that no longer serve us collectively. So it kind of things will crash and burn so that we can like it, like the tower. It's, it can be an uncomfortable card. Change is never, usually it's not fun, but it's also kind of, coming in to remove things that are no longer serving us, things that weren't built on a strong, solid foundation or a morally good foundation. And it crashes so that we can build something that's really strong and fair. And that's what I kind of feel like with the eclipse. It's kind of some chaos, but ultimately it leads to better things for us collectively, um, politically, for us personally. It's a great time to kind of focus in on releasing things that no longer serve us so that we can invite in whatever we're looking to manifest. Oh, you guys, I'm feeling fine. I'm a little tired, but that's it. I'm fine. I will make sure that I rest well and drink lots of water. Like I said, I, maybe it is mono, but I just don't, uh, I don't know. And that doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but we'll see. And I could have very well been in my system for a while because I was feeling tired a couple months ago. So 
All right, you guys. I'll probably do one more question and we'll wrap up. Oh, this isn't really a question, but I did hear that um, Biden had given more student loan forgiveness, public service jobs, student loans for given this morning, teachers, firefighters, public service. Absolutely. And it's just going to continue. Um, and I feel like when he gets reelected, he'll be able to do his promises that he wanted to do this time before the Supreme Court intervened. I told you guys, I feel I feel uh, student loan forgiveness coming in. Maybe it's not 100% forgiven, but a good amount. And I see him in a second term really addressing um, the high costs for college. And, uh, and I don't know if that's whether he gives more um, like Pell Grants out. I do feel like there'll be more Pell Grants given, but really putting a lot of pressure on a lot of these colleges to um, make them more affordable. Let's look at Sherrod Brown and Bernie Marino. Oh, C. C says that uh, she keeps getting unsubscribed from YouTube. I've heard of other people being unsubscribed from channels. Um, so just make sure that I, I don't know why YouTube does it. I've even noticed it for myself being unsubscribed to somebody's channel in the past, not recently, but um, I guess periodically just double checking and making sure that you're subscribed. All right, Sherrod Brown. I do feel Sherrod Brown's going to win. I see him going on the offense. Well, and I think what's really going to carry this election, as we've seen in the last few elections, is uh, women standing up for women's rights. Here in Ohio, we just um, passed a measure so that they can't restrict it. Of course, the Republicans trying to to get it out of that, but. I, I see Sherrod Brown talking and getting that base excited for him. Um, Bernie Marino is a big Trumper that wants to ban abortion. So Sherrod Brown, are you going to win your re-election in Ohio? Yeah, women coming out for him. He's going to get a lot of money, too, for that race. I, I don't know if I feel like the whole state for the president's um, for the presidential goes blue. It feels like it's much closer than 2020, where I think Trump won Ohio by eight points. It feels like it might be closer to like two, the Republican might win it by, but I definitely feel like a lot of money being invested in that Senate race. He's celebrating. Yep, I, Sherrod Brown feels good. He's hanging on. It's going to be a tough... Uh, it's going to be a tough um, battle, though. It, it's probably going to be pretty close. But Sherrod sure, Brown's able to hang on. Moving into calmer waters here. He's going to be able to get things done. He's very excitable, very passionate, charismatic, and really resonates with people. Um, women coming up to support him, three of cups above him. And he's got a lot of money coming in to support him in the race. The world's watching this race. Oops. World's watching. <laughs> so it, feel, it feels good for Sherrod Brown. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to end it there for today. But like I said, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please go over to... Uh, my uh, my solo live stream from last week, March March 12th. If you haven't already, leave a comment starting with reading or Reiki, depending on what contest you'd like to be entered for the giveaway. And either next Tuesday or the following Tuesday, I'll pull my winners. Also, if you'd like, please do me a favor. Please check out my website that is just got active today, 
kevinslovingvibrations.com. You can book a reading, Reiki session, or both on there. I have some available times in the next couple weeks. Um, and if you do me a favor, please comment and tell me what you think about it. Um, besides that, I think, I think that's it for today. I will be on next week, my, my solo show Tuesday. I'll be on with Susan Lynn and Afefe on Wednesday, and me and Mel should get together next Thursday. So sending you all a lot of love, and I will see you all real soon. Y'all take care. All right, bye, everyone. <laughs>